Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is day 11 of training for us. We almost didn't come today because of the storm last night. Um, we have a lot of work to do at our house because of that, but we made it. We're walking in, we're gonna get him started. Um, and we are going to talk to our nurse and see how much of the process we can record for other people who are possibly interested in doing home hemo and try again. Yesterday we got a good amount of fluid out. Today we're gonna try to do the same and I am walking in so I will update soon. should be. 
so you can tell the machine. Things like your shop will go back a little more. Okay, since I connected all of Casey's lines today, literally everything from the machine to him, now what I'm doing is using this setup, and I want to make sure that I have my hand work and my finger work 100% by the end of today. So tomorrow when I hook them up, I have no problems at all. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys. Okay, so he only has about 40 minutes left. I have to check the machine to be exact. Let's see here. Just a second. Yeah, 46 minutes left. He's doing really well so far. No cramping. But as you can see, He's very, very comfortably sleeping, which is good. That's what we want him to be doing. Getting the extra rest and not allowing those cramps to kick in. So um, that's pretty much the update for today. Um, when we leave here, I'll let you know what I was able to learn, but I think we also got a lot of good videos as far as um, setup. So we'll continue to do that and keep on keeping on. Everybody, I know things can be very, very hard sometimes, harder than we want them to be, but we're never given more than we can handle. And let's all try our hardest to get through our difficult times with a smile. We don't need to stress our bodies with worry and stress and anxiety when we can always find good in, in the situation. So, love and hugs to you all. And I will finish this up when we get out of here. Hey guys, all finished up. We are actually almost home to see our awesome kids and my mom, who we want to give a big shout out and thank you to for all the hard work she's put in taking care of the kids and helping around the house while we go through this. Um, today we were able to record a good majority of the prep work before we can even start dialysis. Um, and today I was also able to connect all of the lines to his chest um, catheter as well as give him his Hebron um, before we started dialysis. So that was new, but um, it was pretty, 
pretty simple. Um, the handwork and finger work is a little bit complicated. So I practiced afterwards on a um, kind of like a dummy thing that the nurse made up for me. And I think I got it down pretty good. So she's giving us tomorrow off. So we get to spend the day with the kids tomorrow. We're both very excited about that. Casey did awesome during treatment today. We were again able to pull the full one kilogram of fluid. When we left there, he was not swollen at all. And um, she listened to his lungs and the fluid that was in his lungs when we started dialysis is no longer in his lungs. So that's really good news. Um, we wanna, we're hoping that since we have one day off, that fluid stays off as well. We'll see how that goes over today and tomorrow. But that's the gist of the video for today. And again, for anyone who is thinking about home hemodialysis, from our personal experience, just in training, I can tell you that it takes us approximately 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes to prep and actually hit the start button to get it started. Once it's started, it's another two and a half hours. Once that completes the rinse back process and heparin in his lines takes about 10 minutes and the cleanup process takes about 30 minutes. So you're still looking at a total of about four hours, but the goal of all of this is that you're doing it in the comfort of your home. So that was today and I'm looking forward to Thursday and Friday, hoping to get all that handwork and finger work I was telling you about accomplished and hoping that the swelling stays down on Casey and his blood pressure stays down. It's not normal yet, but it is down a bit. All right, that's all till Thursday. Bye guys.